Hey loves, welcome in to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. You guys, this is going to be your uh, ancestor messages, okay, for um, this week. And the title of this reading is going to be, in this season, answer the call, okay? Because you guys are about to be called on, all right? And you're going to need to, you're going to need to answer that call, like make haste and, and be fearless and be bold and uh, know what you know, okay? Um, I feel us moving into some Aquarian energy. Something about Aquarius could be very significant. I'm picking that up very strongly. I know that we are in the season of Leo. However, the shadow of Leo, oh, and it hit different this time, if you didn't notice, okay? Um, I've told you guys before that anytime we're going into a new season, we have an, hold up, because we got an audience, okay? There's somebody who's watching, observing, okay? They're trying to steal off of you. I see them. I see you here right now, okay? But I release you from my energy, okay? I forgive you. You are free to go. I wish you well, all right? There's nothing here for you. Get your own, all right? Let me let me just do that right there, okay? Now, um, this person is relentless. I see them. They are relentless, okay? Um, they're relentless. Something about Crime Stoppers, okay? Crime Stoppers. You could have been watching Crime Stoppers, okay? Um, I'm seeing another show, but I can't quite pick up the name of it. I haven't watched it yet. I'm seeing the title of it, though. I really can't make it out, but I, I know what they're trying to tell me. I've watched the other version. Oh, Something Wars. Um... Is it grocery wars, shopping wars, something like that. Anyway, somebody could have been watching that or something significant about that. Okay, so moving past that energy, something's wanting me to be distracted, but we're not going to do it. So let me tell you what I'm trying to tell you. Answer the call, okay? Something about Aquarius is significant. Um, I lost my train of thought, so I do apologize. Whatever it is, y'all, it'll come back around, okay? Um, it'll come back. Sorry, y'all. That was what the, that thing's intent was, was to get me distracted but anyway um in this season okay you're gonna be called oh thank you spirit see i told y'all i would come back um bear with me so basically this is the life of a reader here life of a, of a, a gifted individual okay i can see i can see the enemy and his tricks her tricks or whatever this season um we moved into leo because leo is the sun instead of meeting the representative or the shadow of leo first like we would normally meet aquarius first before entering into the energy and space of leo we actually entered into the space of leo right off because leo is the sign right so now we're going to be moving into the shadow now for other seasons and signs it's different uh, you move into the energy of that sign say for example virgo and when you're moving into the energy of Virgo, the season of Virgo, you're meeting its representative. You're meeting Pisces, Pisces energy, which is the opposite or the shadow of Virgo. Um, and that's normally how it goes. But because this is the sun, this is a, a, I'm hearing a pure element that we're working with. We move into it very direct, okay? And then we move into the shadow in the second half of the season. So we're now moving into Aquarius in the second half of the season of the sign Leo, okay? So in Leo's shadow is good old, happy, futuristic, fun, uh, comical Aquarius, okay? Excuse me, spiritual belch to confirm what I'm saying. Sorry, y'all. Um, but yeah, it's that type of a vibe. So we're moving into that space. Mm-hmm. 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 And let's see what the message is for today. Okay, from our ancestor messages. Okay. In this season, answer the call. Ancestor messages. God says you will be swift, gallant, and precise. Y'all, I had to look up the word gallant because I was like, what does that mean, exactly? Okay, yes, I said, exactly. I was like, what does that mean, exactly, Lord? The Lord was like, look it up. So I looked it up. And the meaning of gallant is brave and heroism. Okay, so you will be brave and heroic. Okay, 
um, and precise. You'll be swift, swift meaning quick, okay, in this next season. Answer the call, okay? Thank you, angels and ancestors. Thank you, most high. Divine Holy Spirit, what message do you have for my viewers on today? Okay, he says the plan is to knock the enemy out with one swift jaw-dropping blow. So for some of you all, y'all about to drop your enemy, okay? Like, drop them, okay? When I say drop, like, you ever seen a video where somebody get knocked out, they get punched, and uh, or watch the boxing fight, and the boxer hits and just boom, and the fighter just stiff and just boom, falls, right? It's like that type of a vibe. That's how spirit gave it to me, okay? Um, welcome to the safe haven of God, all right? Welcome. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Y'all know I meditate ahead of time. I write these messages down, and then I come back at whatever date God tells me, and I drop the message. Let me tell you when I just got confirmation. I was telling you guys in another reading... I think it was the sidebar LOL um, where I said God is about to move and you're moving with him and you're covered and there's this covering. And then now here I am looking at my notes as I'm going back over them with you all. And God is saying, welcome to the safe haven of God. Y'all, it's confirming the covering, the safe haven being a covering. OK, so you're under the possession and the protection of the divine. Y'all, it's beautiful. God's word and the way he does things is truly magical and it's beautiful. I'm so thankful for this anointing. Oh my goodness. I'm thankful daily. But when he just confirms it, it just makes me want to like right now, I just want to cry. Right now, I really just want to stop the video and just give him praise and thank him. But I'm not going to stop the video, but I'm going to tell y'all how I feel uh, while you're watching. Okay. I'm truly, truly thankful for this anointing. For some of you all, you are as well. Some of you guys are just as anointed, just as gifted, okay? Some of you guys are teachers with upskill, okay? Um, it says upskill, work, career, and crossroads. You guys, your purpose, your absolute job on this earth um, could be to do just this. Um, digest the word and bring it to the people. Do you know what I'm saying? Share what you know, all right? Um, so that you can lift up and upgrade and upskill um, empower people with knowledge, right? It's that type of a vibe, whoever you are, that's your calling, okay? So in this case, with Answer the Call being the title for this reading, God is asking for you to be an open channel, okay? Be an open channel. Allow his energy to flow through you um, to reach his people or to reach his collective, okay? Because these are his collective. It's not yours. It's not mine. It's his, okay? Be an open channel, mediumship, ancestors, and spirits, okay? He's going to be giving you a lot of messages from a lot of different realms, okay, of spirituality, a lot of different people, ancestors, um, angels, um, him. And he's like, I just need you to be that open vessel, I've chosen you. I've entrusted you. I just need you to spread the word. I just need you to tell people what it is that I've given you to tell them. This is you upskill. You see you sitting here and you are ministering, okay, or you are speaking, okay, to other people. You could be channeling, challenging people. I'm noticing that one boy here, he's standing up as if to be called upon, right? So this could be you. This could be your master and this could be God calling on you to stand up um, and be that open channel okay take that as it resonates so um uh, we have welcome to the safe haven of god all right if you also notice here this these people are under a tree okay this is the safe haven this is this is illustratively being represented as the safe haven of god okay welcome in whoever you are welcome into this space okay in this space <clears throat> God will be watching over us closely. He'll be monitoring our lives. He'll be making sure that our movements and judgments are fair. Now, when he gave this to me, he wasn't talking about that are the moves we make um, are, are, are and, and decisions that we make that they're fair. He was saying that people who are in positions or seats of power to have some form of power or make some sort of decision as it relates to our lives, he's going to be making sure that they're ruling with an iron fist, but meaning as the iron fist being that they're ruling from a place of just. 
God is about to be making sure that the chosen get what the chosen are supposed to get, what they are truly deserving of, okay? Because he's watched over us even prior to now. And he's like, y'all have been faithful. Y'all been really putting in the work. You guys have been really been humble. You guys have been really been showing up. You guys have really been doing what it is that I have called for you all to do. And you've done it with grace and you've done it with style. Some of you are our goats out here. You guys are uniting the world through hard style, okay? It's a vibe where he's seen that, but he's also seen us not receive justice. He's also seen us be ridiculed and be shamed and be spoken out against and be in battle and be hurt and, and things just not be fair. God is like, look, under this safe haven, I'm watching over my chosen, right? And it's a vibe where I'm going to make sure that you collect just due with remaining interest. It's that type of a vibe. Shout out to Cyrock, okay? Because y'all, he like, y'all gonna shine on him, okay? Because you're stars. You're gonna shine forever. <coughs> because that's what he's called you to do, okay? One moment. See, the enemy doesn't want me to speak this message out, but I rebuke him in the name, okay? In the name, and I'm going to get this word out to y'all. So, uh, basically, he's going to be making sure that things are fair for you, okay? God is settling, excuse me, God is setting up wins, and he is connecting, excuse me, correcting injustices with quickness, okay? Okay? Now, before Chosen, you could have felt like, man, here I am putting in this work and then boom, I get an unfair judgment or somebody does this against me and it looks like they were winning, right? Wrong viewer. See, in the past, God was testing not only you, but he was testing the opponent. He was testing the enemy as well, right? To see how far would they really go? If I don't do anything and I just sit back and I watch, how far would these people go with my chosen? How far out of line will people go? How far off the path will people wander? How far will they go if they think that I'm not paying attention? That's how God was coming. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. It says embrace your inner gypsy. Okay. This talks about freedom, fun, and uh, um, freedom, fun, and music. Okay. <clears throat> he's like, how far will, will these people go if I don't, you know what I mean? If I don't step in. So he let, in the past, he let things go beyond what he normally would have. He was, he was like giving enough rope to see who would hang themselves. Okay. Be thankful. Confirmation with the spiritual belt. Be thankful. Give gratitude. Okay. Appreciation and harmony here. Because in doing this, God was actually seeing who was deserving who was deserving of the position? Who was deserving of this role? Who was deserving of the anointing? Who was deserving to carry the message? Who was going to be honorable enough and humble enough to, to not retaliate, to not uh, try to tear down their brethren or their sister? And who, who would honor the role to be in the position to lead, to stand, to express? Ooh, he was testing us all. Now that he's done testing, he's like, okay, enough of that. That was that was the testing phase, testing season. <laughs> uh, mic check, one, two, three, okay? He was testing the mic. Now that he's tested the mic, okay? Now that he's tested the mic, it's a vibe where he's ready to open his love back up. I'm not saying that he wasn't loving on us, on, on us before, but it's a vibe where now he's ready to um, make the necessary adjustments. Now he's ready to pass down the necessary judgment. Now he's ready to uh, rule with that iron fist, okay? So it says, open to love, relationships, passion, and fulfillment, all right? So at the bottom of the deck, we have teach and share, instill, instruct, and educate. Like I said, you all were called to do this. This is your calling, okay? Um, this is a part of your mission, your assignment, okay? The divine is like, it's required for you to answer the call. Right now, respect your physical body, okay? Keep your temple clean, okay? 
Keep your homes clean. Keep your mind filled with positive thoughts, all right? And then continue to honor him as he's moving in this season, okay? So answer the call. He's using you to teach and share, to instill, to instruct, to educate, all right? So there's a need for you to answer the call when he is calling, all right? You guys, this has been your ancestor messages. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, all right? Be sure that you are having fun. Make the journey fun. The journey should be fun anyway, okay? Um even through the upsets, if you're viewing it in the right way, if you have that rich mentality, that rich thinking, then you will be enjoying the journey along the way as well, okay? It won't seem like work, okay? Make it fun, all right? You guys, this has been your read for your ancestor messages, all right? In this season, answer his call. I'll see you, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.